It was <laughs> tough. So we wanted to record every day for the past four days or something. Yesterday, okay, so we've noticed bees in our house and yesterday, how many do we have? No, yeah. it was the day before. The day before. We I had like 10. Like 10? I counted them. Oh, well, when 13. I left. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, it was like 30 bees that we ended up, not bees. What are they called? Black jacks. Yellow, the yellow jacks. Yellow jacks. Um, and we were like killing them at all day long. And then we had some pest control people coming, so we couldn't find the time to do it. And now we're here. It's not fitness related, it's obsessions. And because I haven't done an obsessions video in like forever, I'm gonna feel like I'm hopping around to like the most random stuff. So bear with me, but I think you'll enjoy it because I really enjoy it. As always, this is not sponsored. However, I do have an Amazon account, so these links, I do make a little bit pennies off of them if you choose to buy from the link, being totally honest. But I never have ever bought anything that someone has asked me to buy. These are things that I personally get interested in and then I go for it. So a favorite, kid's favorite and adult favorite. And we were talking about like, do you remember having those snow cones type of thing? And they're like, and I just went to MSN and looked for it. I was like, yeah, yes, why, why did we even come up with it? I don't even know why we talked about we it. We were talking about like childhood things that Lila has an experience. I never had one. We need to get her one. So we have this awesome machine. It came with like four of these reusable ones. I'm not a huge fan. I like the paper ones. <laughs> I think it's just because. I know how to manipulate the paper ones. My daughter doesn't like it because she never had them out on the street, man. <laughs> These are so much easier and you squeeze them when you're ready to like, you know, get to the bottom. But it's nice that it comes with it. It also comes with this little spoon so you can get that perfect round shape at the top. Um, now, here's the fun part. It's not just about that. You got syrups. I do organic, obviously. Um, I bought three other organic ones that were bleh. Mm, horrible. This is the brand to do. Uh, strawberry, everyone likes. The mango's pretty good, but if you ask them, they're gonna go for the strawberry. Now an even funner perk. There was a blueberry, no? Oh, oh, that's the one. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, so anyways, now the fun part. My husband got horchata from the, uh, the Mexican restaurant, and we had a lot left over. So... I put it in ice cube trays and I and I um, froze oh. it and I put it in the machine. My kids gobbled it up. It was the best thing ever. What if I added caramel to it too? <gasps> More cinnamon. Like, More cinnamon. Something on top of it, right? So that was really good. And then my son loves like the fruit ice cream bars, but he's not that great with eating them full. So I would use chop them. Then, ha, huh, light bulb went off. Why don't you put the popsicle in here? And I did, and he loved it, and he just mm, 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 the whole thing. So I love it for so many reasons. The neighbors I love feel, it. Yeah, the neighbor neighbors, kids. kids love it. Um, I feel like there's more we can explore. Yeah. Frozen fruits. Yeah. Frozen fruits. And it works so easily, right? It does. It's super fast. No effort. You just put this thing down. It does it all for you. I would turn it on when my boy's sleeping. So no. All right, that is an amazing perk. I'm, it brings back childhood memories, but even better because of all the cool ideas that mm. come with it. Um, vitamins. I, I always share if I'm doing any supplements or vitamins, and at the time, I am doing vitamins. Um, but, so Whole Foods Multivitamin. This one's for men. I finished the women's one. I'm on subscribe and save through Amazon, so i got to wait till like, the 29th of this month. Uh, I've just been taking his. I was taking yours in the beginning. I know, he was taking mine. I'm like, boy, you say women on it. He's like, what's the difference? I'm like, I have no clue. We I checked. think it's There's just no... a prostate. <laughs> like, but you checked the but back I, yeah, of it. Yeah, I didn't really see any difference. I don't know if it's just to make men feel like they're taking manly vitamins and make women feel like they're taking womenly vitamins. Um, and then this grass-fed beef liver. So here's what got me on this. Um, ever since my pregnancy, I have been all over my legs. I would get like these big patches. I think the biggest one was about like that big. Um, and it looked like pin, what is it? Pin spot, red. Red, pinkish. I don't know how to say this. It spots. Looks, yeah, yeah kind of like you know when you get hit, except I didn't get hit. And then you form those little blood spots. Was it like a bruise, but 
Peak. My midwife was really concerned at first, but then she's like, I don't know, it's not getting worse, but it's not getting better. She's like, so I don't know. And she was giving me options, but for like a year, I still had them. And like they would come and go, and sometimes they would flare and look totally pink. And it would be kind of embarrassing, because I'm like, what do I tell people when they ask me? I don't even know. So then, then I read an article about like, you sent me a video. Mm. Did you send me a video? I don't remember, it's been a while. Mm. And they were like, that you, um, to try adding beef liver into your diet. Surely, sure enough, it started working. And it started to fade until it was all gone. It took like six weeks. Um, and then it never returned and I don't have any of it anymore. But I had it for like a year and it didn't hurt or anything. It just, I didn't know well, what it was. Well, you started taking the vitamins at the same time. I took both. Yeah. So I was, I think I was just missing something. Maybe Kai just took oh, a lot you're, from me. Yeah. You know? Turkish towels. Okay, I fell in love with these over the summer. If you don't know what a Turkish towel is, I didn't either. <laughs> this is a Turkish towel. Super thin, super thin, super absorbent, super large. And the reason I liked it was because now that there's four of us, if we go to the beach or something, and we take those big ass towels. Like those in the back. They're huge. Like, no, these are small. This is a big Turkish towel. I'm going to show that one in a second. It rolls up so tiny. So imagine just four of these in your bag. Sand does not stick to it, so it'll just come right off. Um, but I love that they're so big. And little Kai, you can just wrap them up in it. Now imagine him in there. <laughs> and his whole body gets covered in and gets nice and warm. And he loves it. Right away. He loves this towel. He normally doesn't like to be wrapped up in a towel, but I think because it's so light, he likes it. Well, it dawned on me that why don't we just replace all our towels with it because it doesn't smell. You don't get that nasty towel smell eventually from it, um, and they last you forever. Like, these towels will last a very long time. And then, like, I didn't think that was awesome. Look at this one. Your whole family fits in here. <laughs> Um, I've been using it to tan on, um, to cover myself up in, because I tan in the nude. So, you know, once I, if you've seen my setup on my rails, I have like, um, what are they, tablecloths? Yeah. All around it. But then when I gotta stand up or run from bees, I can quickly, you know, and not expose myself. Turkish towels. Um, we have more upstairs. I'm going to slowly gradually buy more because they're a little bit more expensive, but I think they're worth it. Um, I think once you go Turkish, you can go back. Is that a saying I just made up? <laughs> Come into my lovely bathroom. <laughs> okay, so this bathroom gets used and abused. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, we used to have black toilet when we moved in. It drove me nuts. I, black toilets, you cannot tell if they're clean or not. So this is the only and, bathroom. And you and I use it. Huh? You and I use it. I you never go upstairs. I couldn't sit on a black toilet. What is in that toilet? And they're more expensive too. Yeah. I, I, I Anyways, so I had him change it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go upstairs. It, you did it right before I got pregnant with Kai, no? No. It was before that. Was it before that? Yeah. Anyways. Um... Now, I'm bringing this up because I found this awesome Kaboom toilet cleaner. It only works on new style toilets. Like, nah, I don't know how new, honestly. Can't be that new. I don't know how long this was. But the house is, was 15 years old when we moved yeah. in. So it's about 21 years old. So whatever toilets they put in 21 years ago does not work on. It works on this one. Let me show you the setup in the back. You've used those tablets and those other things, and they're horrible for your toilet. This cool device, you attach it to the back of the tank. You put this one side in. I don't know what that is. I didn't know what that was until I read the thing. I guess the water comes in through here. The tablet goes inside this area. It's still good. And then it goes through there. I don't know. I'm, these are really such sense. scientific terms I'm using. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. Um, you know that like black mold that you get around like inside there that you can't get with the brush? Um, 
I don't get it anymore. And I like it for this toilet because everyone and their mom uses this toilet. It's obviously the guest. What Everyone's. is it called? It's Everyone's. The main. The main. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. I will remember when I don't need to remember. Um, I bought another one thinking I put it in the other toilets and I can't, but my husband is convinced he'll change out our toilets now. Another, someday. Someday. <laughs> someday. I have 100% faith in, in that statement. Pumice stones, ladies and gentlemen who clean your house. Um, pumice stones are these amazing little blocks. Now, why I like them, we have hard water stains in our house because we have hard water. Um, we have four toilets. We do not use four toilets. We use this bathroom when we're during the daytime. And then upstairs I use a the bathroom. There's two bathrooms we don't use. And because we don't use them, they get like this ring around the toilet that's impossible to clean with any cleaner or brush. It won't happen. I, I know. I know. I've tried very hard. These pumice stones, they take it off. They work on porcelain, I believe granite. Toilet sinks, bathtubs, tiles, and grills. Um, it takes it all off. It's amazing. I bought the one with the handle. It was all great until the hand, the pumice stone fell off the handle. So um, just get the little blocks. They're super inexpensive. Um, and good gloves. Huh? <laughs> and good gloves. Dude, don't even get me started with the gloves. <laughs> Nothing is, there's no worse feeling than going hands in with that pumice and then all of a sudden you feel the water rushing into your glove. <laughs> Why did you even wear a glove? And they were new. It's those nails. I know, but I cut them off. I will, show, I will talk about the nails in a minute. All right, I got some stuff to show you in here. Um, I don't even know, I know, but it's amazing. So how many snowsuits did I buy in return? Five. And I started with the more expensive ones. You know why? Because I'm like, I've had the same snow pants since I was 15. Uh, they're getting tight. <laughs> and they're really short on me. But I've always dealt with that because I'm like, whatever, I'm a tolly. So I bought the most expensive ones. Like $300 ones. Which apparently are too short. And very long torso. I don't understand that, isn't it? For women, it should be the other way around, I would think, right? Guys have longer torsos and shorter legs. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Well, it looked ridiculous. I kept thinking it was a size issue. It was not. I went to a cheaper pair. These were like 49 And it was my last. I was like, after this, I give up. No more. These are bibs, by the way. That's what they're called. I, I usually just do the pants, but I wanted a bib style. Look at the length on these. You can choose short, regular, and long. Obviously, I did long. Five nine. No. Um, and then I did medium. Now the only thing I wish they would have done, because I got a small too, just because I'm like I'm tired of you know, all these failed attempts. The small fit perfect in my upper body. It was nice and snug. Um, allowing you to feel like nothing was going to go inside. But it was ridiculously uh, tight on my tush and my thighs. I couldn't handle it. So I had to deal with it. I have to deal with the medium. It's not horrible. You know? Just wish it was a little more close. Yeah, here. but once you wear a sweater on, you're good. Yeah, but the small was nice. It was like that. You know? So it kept it closed. And here you already feel air. Granted, I'm wearing like a little top, so whatever. Um, but... Oh, I do. I do love it. I'm happy I, I decided to try one more bibs before I just gave up. And I was going to go to the men's section and just buy a pair of pants. So luckily it was the cheaper one. Cheap is something bad. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little excited. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about it. Finally, after years and years. All right. So there are the pants. They have a white pair, but you know, who needs two snow pants, right? Hmm. I mean, I'm saving. You're saying it as a question, not as a statement. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I know I just did a jean haul. I know. But look. Can you see that? Can I see that? Yeah. Fleece. Fleece lined. Like, uh, je the, uh, jeans. That's what I meant. 
um, and they're actual like like stretchy, nice jean material, and they're flattery. That's the crazy part is that they were flattery. Let me show you guys. Do you want me to slap them on? Am I getting taller? I feel like I'm getting taller. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Okay, super stretchy, super nice. They feel so soft when they're on, it's ridiculous. The butt looks pretty good, I'd say, for feeling like it's a thick pant. Um, I kind of like it, right? You like the butt? Yeah. I don't know what to say. They're awesome. I'm pretty excited. I was a little late on them. When we went to the pumpkin patch, these would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, perfect. You do not feel any air going through them because of that fleece. Um, I think... I almost feel like buying another pair is totally pointless because, I mean, how many times do you need fleece-lined jeans? Yeah. But it's nice to know I have a pair. And they are flattering. Look who woke up! Say hi! You say hi? He's like, I only say hi to people, not objects, mommy. He <laughs> says hi to everybody. Everybody. Um, okay, so we're in the hallway. I just used this today, and it was amazing. Um, this is our little bro We have one but it's just a vacuum. This one is a mop and vacuum. Ah, best thing ever. Took us a while to get it. I know, because I was like, one, is he gonna let us use it? Because he attacks the other one. He mistreats it and thankfully it still works perfect. He loves vacuums. He loves vacuums since he was a baby. I think, I think they may even know this. <laughs> That's how much he loves it. Um, so I, I didn't wanna buy it because it was like $300. And I'm like, uh, is it just gonna be abused and never used properly? Um, but anyways, we got it and it works really amazingly. I'm pretty happy about it. And unlike the other one that we have, this one, I don't have to put a gate over the stairs. It won't fall down the stairs. It knows the minute it steps off just a little, there's a sensor that tells it to come back. Unlike the other one, the other one goes like boom, boom, boom. It has no sense of direction. It goes until it hits something and then it, it goes it, from there it has again. Some... This one will get into a rhythm where it goes that way, it comes back. That way it comes back. That way, and like you see it doing it perfect. Um, so I love it for that. I love that it vacuums while it mops. So I just used it today in the hallway. So let me box removed. And here, oh look at that, it makes it rain. It's not rain. It's a bathroom. This was cleaned. This is what we did, the hallway and then the bathroom, the bathroom yeah. right? So it vacuums. And this is the mop, which, oh, it's being covered, right? Yeah. Am I being, okay. <laughs> That's where you fill up whatever you want to use. I, I forgot the name I use. Murphy's soap or something? Yeah. Um, but that, that's amazing. Like it literally vacuums and mops at the same time. It's, I'm just amazed by it. Um, I, a hundred, she talks to you a lot. I 100% am happy that he kept nudging me to buy it. Did you buy it? Did you buy it? Did you buy it? I'm like, no. He's like, why? I'm like, because. What if we never use it? And it sits there and it collects dust. And so we decided when we leave the house to put it in the room or put it wherever. Yeah. So I he mean, up us. here it does fine because we'll be downstairs and then Kai can leave it alone and let it do its thing. But then we decided if we decide to go for a quick walk. Start. No, we don't want you to start. See? He already started. Oh, he started yeah. it. He has the back, uh, the remote. Anyways. <laughs> okay, let's stop you. Okay, I'm gonna show one more thing because the video is getting long. There's more, so there will be another Obsessions video coming. Another cleaning one. This should have just been a cleaning video, seriously. Okay, so I'm always scrubbing my shower the traditional way. And my arms are killing, I'm sweating, and, and I spend way more time. And, and I do complain, I bitch about it every time. And I told you, time. go and look for something to scrub. I was like, why did I think of this? So this might not even be a huge thing for you guys. Maybe you're smarter than me and you already did it. No or have it. <laughs> work smart, not hard, right? If not, I'm here to save you. So it's this cool little device, super easy to use. It comes with a couple different options, which I had to use three to get my shower done. This is perfect for the flat surface, the wall. I don't know, I think he took videos. I don't know what he showed. This is when it's flat. This helps 
all that underneath part and the corners, like, like between the bars and everything. So it works amazing for that. And this is like a super scrubber. I found it very helpful for the floor because it's a lot harder. Um, kind of curves. My like husband curvy. loves the charcoal soap I make. Yeah. It's an amazing soap. Charcoal. White shower. Charcoal. Can you just imagine? Um, so it gets like pretty gray in there really easily. And it was such a pain to clean. Not anymore. Not with this. This is literally the best, the best thing ever. I have, I have nothing but great things to say about it. Easy charging. And it lasted the entire time. It didn't die on me. There's still more battery in it. Um, I have yet to use it on other things, but I think it would be great for like the floor. Yeah. I don't know other stuff. Or maybe I'll buy a separate one for the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I love it and it has saved my arms. The only thing you, you don't have to put any work into it. You just have to guide it. Cause like it spins really fast. So it'll be like, so you gotta just hold it and guide it, it where you want. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, since I know the video is getting long, I'm gonna stop it here. This is our other Turkish towel. Isn't that a pretty color? Look how big it is. Hey, Kai, come here. Come here. He's not. He's coming. Look at it. Ah, you just wrap your baby up and it is so perfect. Okay. Thank you for the demo. You yeah. go back. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I love these towels so very much. Um, anyways, we're going to end it here. I hope you like it. Uh, Subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time you post a video. If I left anything out or you just have a question, I will try to answer questions. Or say hi in the video. Or say hi. Okay. Hashtag love it if you love it. Let's me know that you have nothing to say, but you're there and you're watching and you're enjoying. Um, yeah. All right. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>